Hi, Tsachi. I got this question from a viewer. I make a lot of berets, usually velvet or lux fleece, without a band. I either use 1 inch grow green ribbon or elastic inside of the hat. The result is that the edge of the ribbon or elastic tends to show a little sometimes. Steaming velvet is problematic, so I use very minimal heat in pressing the seams, if at all. Thank you, Rina, for sending me this question. She makes a lot of beret hats. She has this problem with the band sticking out. She tried to steam press it, but she's afraid of crushing the pile of the velvet. She wants to know what are her options to keep the band not sticking out. To demonstrate it better, I'm going to use this failed attempt at my wide band beret hat. I took off the band, placed the lining inside, and machine basted the base of the hat. Then attach the ribbon with straight machine stitch. When I folded the ribbon inside, there is a small portion of ribbon edge peeking out. So this is what we're dealing with. The first thing I thought about is using the velvet board. Velvet board is a board with small needles on one side. You place the velvet board on the ironing board, needle side up. You put the fabric on the velvet board with the textured pile side of the fabric down on the needles, then iron the seam allowance from the wrong side. That way you don't crush the pile of the fabric with your iron. But the catch is that after a quick research on the internet, I realized that these needle boards or velvet boards are expensive. If you sew with a velvet fabric or corduroy or other piled fabric all the time, maybe it's worthwhile. But if you are a casual sewer, maybe it is too expensive. So I explored some other options, which is using the hard side of Velcro. I used my tailored sausage to attach the velcro too. The velcro I'm using is actually the type that doesn't have any hard or soft side. If you're using a regular kind, use the hard side. I used glass head pins to attach the velcro to the tailored sausage. It's important that these are glass head, not plastic head, so you won't melt the heads of the pins with your iron. Place the seam directly over the velcro. I also used my pressing cloth, which is just this silk organza fabric. I started with medium heat setting on my iron, so I don't accidentally over iron the fabric. You can always experiment to slowly go up in the heat setting. After ironing, let the ironed area cool down to set the crease. I think it's important that the velcro is mounted on a round surface, so you're only ironing a small area at a time. I'm sorry, the only velvet fabric I had on hand was in this deep blue color and it's really hard to see the result on the camera. I tried to light it so you can see how the fabric looks after ironing, but I know it's barely visible on the camera. If your beret hats have side seams, you can stitch in the ditch the ribbon to attach on the sides. If you use thread in a matching color, it'd be very noticeable from outside. Or you could try using fabric glue like this one or fabric tack in a very small amount. But please please test it on the scrap fabric first. The other things I thought you could do is to attach the band with zigzag stitches. Mama. <laughs> Do you want to pop it? Oh,
Uh, uh, some here. Here, here, here. My another idea is to attach the band by zigzag stitch. I set my sewing machine to zigzag stitch, 2.5 in length and 3 in width. I place my head so the needle would hit right outside of the ribbon on one side. This way the edge of the ribbon is completely encased in the zigzag stitch. When I fold the ribbon inside, the edge of the ribbon doesn't show on the outside. I personally like this as a solution because it's easy and quick. I would probably use it in combination with gluing or tacking, stitch in the ditch in a couple places. Then I think it's good to go. And if all fails, the other thing I can think of is to interface the seam allowance of the head circumference. But this is pretty time consuming. I don't know if you want to do this. But if you interface the seam allowance, it forces the fabric to fold at the edge of the interfacing. If you add the interfacing to the seam allowance and you attach the ribbon within that seam allowance, the ribbon band is not going to show. So those are the things I can think of. If you have some better idea, please leave it in the comment section. I love reading comments and learning new techniques from the comment section. So thank you for doing that. I hope this was somewhat helpful and even if it wasn't, thank you for watching and happy sewing.